NASA humiliates Al Gore with new report. Al Gore has made a career of falling just short of where he wanted to go. He gets so close to the prize and when it is right there at the tips of his fingers, so close he can almost touch it, it slips away. A combination of hubris and ego, a toxic liberal cocktail if ever there was, inevitably leads to his downfall. Like it does to all liberals. And now we know what is at the end of that rainbow and it is not a pot of gold but a fresh cooked piece of humble pie, thrown into his face by the waiting leprechaun. In this case the pie thrower is NASA and they just confirmed Al's worst nightmare. Sea levels have been falling for the last two years. You heard that right falling. While true that on average they still show a slight rise, years of falling seal levels will impact the mean as the study continues. NASA satellite seal level observations for the past 24 years show that, on average, sea levels have been rising 3.4 millimeters per year. That's 0.134 inches, about the thickness of a dime and a nickel stacked together, per year. As I said, that's the average. But when you focus in on 2016 and 2017, you get a different picture. Sea levels fell in 2016, and with all of this winter's record-breaking snowfall, I wouldn't be surprised if they decline again this year. Although the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, only predicts a sea level rise of 59 centimeters, 17 inches, by 2100, Al Gore in his Oscar-winning film An Inconvenient Truth went much further, talking of 20 feet, and showing computer graphics of cities such as Shanghai and San Francisco half underwater. We all know the graphic showing central London in similar plight. As for tiny island nations such as the Maldives and Tuvalu, as Prince Charles likes to tell us and the Archbishop of Canterbury was again parroting last week, they are due to vanish. Share this if you think Al Gore should stop flying in his private jet if he really believes what he preaches.